guys, so I have a little collective beauty haul today. This is from all kinds of different places. Um, and I've been collecting this since like, I want to say like the middle of December. So it's been a while. Um, I'll do makeup items first. I have a couple of the new drugstore uh, things that came out. Um, to start off, I went color tattoo crazy. And I got all five of the new color tattoo colors from Maybelline. And these are the color tattoo metals. And honestly, I don't see a big difference um, in metallicness between these and the regular color tattoos. They all seem about the same level of shimmery to me. But this is inked in pink. And then the next one that I have is Silver Strike. Yeah, it's just the silver one. And then I have Barely Branded, and Barely Branded is very similar. Um, it's like a beigey, you know, fair skin toned color. And it's just extremely similar to Barely Beige, which was one of the limited edition fall colors that came out. So if you didn't get a chance to get Barely Beige, um, I would get Barely Branded while you can. I don't know if these are permanent or not. So if you really wanted Barely Beige and didn't get it, um, Barely Branded is almost exactly the same. Um, it's just a little less pink, it's a little more white, I guess, and I swatch them both together so you guys are probably looking at that like right now. And then the next one is Electric Blue, and it's not really an electric blue to me, it's a really dark blue, but I still like it. And lastly, Gold Rush, which is a really metallic, very yellow gold color. The next two things I got were the biggest disappointment uh, to me in like all of new drugstore products, and these were the L'Oreal... Uh, I think these were the L'Oreal Caress lip glosses. They're supposed to be dupes for the YSL Glossy Stains. And I have very, very pigmented lips. So I got two colors. I got Pink Rebellion, uh, which is like the fuchsia color, and then Pink Perseverance. And it's like a light baby pink. And neither one of these, you can see Pink Rebellion a little bit on my lips. Uh, Pink Perseverance does absolutely nothing. Like It looks like I'm putting nothing on my lips. And these swatch really great on your skin, but if you have pigmented lips like I do, these are not going to work for you. They're going to be a huge disappointment unless you want to get the darkest, darkest colors. Then those might show up, but I wouldn't know, and there's no way I'm going to pay $9 for another one when these two sucked so bad. And I would take these back, but I got these at Meijer, and I didn't try them until I came back to Minneapolis, because, you know, Meyer is like a Michigan, Kentucky, Indiana, Illinois thing. Maybe Ohio, I don't know. But anyway, um, I can't take these back because the store that I got them from is like 600 miles away from me. So I'm stuck with these. I'm going to try my best to find a way to make these work, but I really don't see how I can, especially this pink perseverance color. Very disappointed in those. So I got one of the uh, color whispers from Maybelline. They are just Maybelline's answer to the Revlon lip butters and the color I got is pink rebel and I like this a lot. It has little tiny shimmers in it but they don't really show up on your lips. Um, it's a little bit thinner than the lip butters but essentially the feel and um, performance is exactly the same. So and then the last two makeup items that I got, not counting all the nail polish, are two of these uh, Maybelline Color Sensational Vivid Lipsticks. And the two that I got are Shocking Coral, which is like super neon coral color. And then I got Pink Pop because it looked fairly similar, not exactly the same obviously, but fairly similar to um, Candy Yum Yum, which I really want to get, but I'm waiting because I need to finish my cream color base and then I can back to MAC enough stuff to get a lipstick. And now that Candy Yum Yum is permanent, I'm gonna get that um, for my back to MAC. But in the meantime, I picked up those two. I've tried both of them on my lips, and I haven't actually worn them out yet, so I like the colors a lot, actually. So I got those. A lot of the nail polishes are from indie brands, because those are kind of my favorites. I have a few from Zoya from when they had their three free promotion, and then I have a few from Zoya that I bought before I knew about that promotion, which sucks, and um, then a couple other ones, but mainly they're indies. Now, I had to buy another nail polish rack because I'm working with some indie sellers now and so there's going to be some increased nail polish and so I had to buy a gasp fourth nail polish rack. Absolutely ridiculous but my boyfriend thinks it's hilarious and he wants to build me one now but anyway. So I got three from Rockstar Nails and let me tell you about this. The two of the three that I ordered one of them doesn't really look like the picture on Etsy, 
and the other one looks absolutely nothing like the picture on Etsy. And I'll put the picture um, up next to the bottle when I show you a close-up so you can see the difference. And um, I wasn't going to complain about both of them, but I did send them an email about this color, which is Peacock, which is supposed to be like blue and purple with a little bit of brown glitter in it. And it's like all brown glitter with a little bit of color. And it looks absolutely nothing like the picture. And I emailed them and um, they were really quick to respond the first time, said that they would figure out how to do a return. And if they couldn't figure it out, they just send me a new bottle. So after like, I think a week, maybe a week and a half, they got back to me again and said that they were just going to send me a new bottle of it. And I emailed them right away because my address is different than the address that these were sent to because I was home for Christmas break. And um, I never heard back to them, so I don't know if it's getting sent to my house or if it's getting sent here or if it's even been sent yet. And I was going to wait to do this haul until I had both bottles so that you guys could see and I could tell you like how that whole thing worked out. But it's taking too long and a lot of these drugstore products like aren't even relevant anymore and I still haven't filmed the video. So I'm doing it now and then I'll put an annotation or something. If it's grossly different still, the new bottle that I get, then I'll put an annotation. If not, just assume that everything worked out great. Um, but I did get Peacock, and then the other one that was completely different was Mardi Gras, and this is not so different that I needed to complain. I didn't want to complain to them about two polishes, and Peacock was way bigger of a deal, and looks very different than the picture too, but it's not that big of a deal. There just isn't a lot of pink glitter in here. So there's that, and then the other one that I got is Snowy Owl, and this one is adorable. Uh, it's got lots of white glitters in it, and then blues and black bars and stuff like that, and I really like this color a lot. I like Rockstar Nails, I like the colors that they come out with, but my problem is they're very hard to fish the glitter out of the bottle, and I don't know if it's the bottle design or if it's just the way they are, but you can see when you pick this up out of the bottle, there's like no big chunks on there, and a lot of their glitters are, you know, mainly huge chunks. So, got three from Rockstar Nails. That kind of sucked. I'll probably put off buying from them for a little while, just because of the issues. <laughs> and of course, like always, I will link all the indie sellers that I mentioned below because I know those are, can be a little difficult to come across. So I got one from Black Cat Lacquer and this one is called Sanitation Twins. And I think like each color is supposed to represent some kind of refuse. It's like a pro recycling thing. So there's that. And in the bottle, it looks like it's just packed with silver glitter. But once you paint it on your nails, the silver is very light shimmer and then everything else, then you just get the colored matte glitters and it actually looks really, really cool. Because when I got this, I thought it was losing my mind because I got this and the Rockstar Nails ones at the same time and I was like, none of these look like the pictures, but um, this looks exactly like the swatch on your nails once it's swatched. It just looks a little different in the bottle because the shimmer is so dense. So I got that one. I have a seller that I've never actually purchased from before, but I've had this one particular polish in my wish list at Etsy for like four months. And these are from Kawaii Nail Lacquer. I think that's it. K-A-W-A-I-I. Kawaii. Anyway, um, Kawaii? I don't know. So these are both um, Sailor Moon inspired colors. And the first one is Sailor Moon. This is the one that's been in my wish list forever. And it's just the Sailor Moon colors. Yellow, red, white, and blue. And then the holographic moons in it. And I really, really like this. And these are really easy to get on the brush. I'm going to do a video on how to actually dab glitter chunky glitters like this onto your nail because it can be a little difficult, but um, once you know how to do it, you can actually tell the difference between, you know, an easy glitter to work with and a difficult glitter to work with, but when you're first coming across that technique, they all seem difficult, so. The next one is Sailor Jupiter, and it's pink and green and yellow and white. like those a lot. So Candy Lacquer is probably one of my favorite indie brands. I should do a video on that too. I've got a lot of videos to do. She came out with her Valentine's Day collection and I was in love with all of them but I'm like, I'm only gonna get three. I'll be good. So I got Crazy Love which is a multicolored glitter and I don't need another multicolored glitter or matte glitter or anything like that. Um, but this one has different hearts in it and the color combination and the glitter combination is just a little bit different than anything else that I have. So I picked that one up. And then I picked up Sweethearts which is a hot pink and a paler pink glitter. Um, hearts and squares and all kinds of different shapes. And then the last one that I picked up is Candy Kisses and this one actually is like shiny glitter, it's not like matte glitter. And this one is fuchsia and red. There's lots of hearts in all of these because they're Valentine's Day polishes so grab that one too. I have one from China Glaze. Uh, I had got two from China Glaze. I got the black and white polish from the Cirque du Soleil collection which is called World Away I think. It's in WH World Away. And I didn't I lost it. I mean, I didn't lose it, but it's 
here somewhere in this mess. Uh, you should see what it looks like when I film, it's ridiculous. <laughs> but anyway, um, I was interested in that at first because I have so many black and white polishes, glitter polishes, but the glitters in that one are so big and like the more I see swatches, the more I want to try it and I've heard that it was really hard to work with, but I just, I need to know. And I found it on Amazon for like $2, so I'm like, I might as well. And then the other one that I picked up is Shocking Pink from China Glaze and this is like one of their popular colors that I just haven't tried because I thought it was too similar to some of the Summer Neons ones that I have, but this is actually really, really different. And this is the brightest pink nail polish I have ever seen. Neon, neon, hot pink, scary, like it's insane. So I just make sure to layer it over white because that's what makes neon polishes really show up well. And I did a video on that too, but if I'm telling you, you don't need to watch it. So there's that. I did get one from Wet n Wild and this is from the Fergie collection and it's called Hollywood Walk of Fame. Little, little tiny holographic micro glitters and like micro bar glitter, like I've never seen bar glitter that small. But the main point is all the different colored stars. So I picked that up. That was like a dollar because it was on sale at my A bunch of Zoyas. I picked up three from the buy three free sale, um, or the get three free sale. They, of course they upped their shipping to like 10 bucks, but whatever. Um, but I ordered one for my mom with that. So I only have two from that and the other ones were all purchased um, before that sale, which is so stupid of me. I didn't know that sale was coming up. So, the two that I actually got from the sale are Avery, which is a like foundation colored nude nail polish. Um, it's not quite my perfect nude, it's not like the mannequin hands color for me, but it's close. So I picked that one up, and then uh, Aurora, which is just freaking amazing, gorgeous purple with all kinds of different glitters in it. Uh, it doesn't apply or remove like a glitter polish though, it's really easy. and. Um, it's just, this is absolutely gorgeous. Look up swatches of this. Um, LetThemHavePolish.com has an amazing swatch of this. And then I also picked up another nude. This is Cho. And this one has, li this is a lot lighter than Avery, but it has a little tiny, um, little bit of like, not glitters, but iridescence in it. And I picked up Jansen, which is a bright orange color. Ziv, which is a gold, and I've been wanting this forever and um well forever being since it came out in like november but i really really like this color finally picked that up and then the last one that i got is charisma and i got it because it was super bright it's showing up a little uh more red i think on camera than it actually is but um i was super excited about this and then it ended up drying matte so it's not one of their matte polishes but it dries matte and i know that's just because it's so bright and the top coat will fix it but it's kind of like oh that sucks but I got this. And the last three are from the OPI Mariah Carey collection and they are three of the liquid sand polishes and I told myself that I would not care about liquid sand polishes, that they were stupid and I didn't care and then I went and bought two and I liked them so much I bought another one and I, whatever. So the first one is the Impossible and this is the pink one. This has star glitters in it but good freaking luck getting the stars out of the bottle because I could not get any and I tried, I thought my nail polish was going to dry out like the bottle was going to dry out because I had the cap off for so long trying to fish those stars out. So they're all settled at the bottom. They're not going anywhere. So good luck with that <laughs> if you get a bottle that you can actually get a star out of. Then I picked up Stay the Night, which is the black with the red glitters in it. And the last one is Get Your Number, and this is the blue one. That is my entire haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will talk to you later. Bye, guys.